Hi, welcome to my today's classroom. In my today's classroom, I will be discussing about Wilson's disease. Wilson's disease is autosomally inherited disorder and it is inherited in particular families. It is a rare disorder and it is seen in one of 30,000 population. Now this Wilson's disease is a disorder of copper metabolism and this disorder of copper metabolism is because of ceruloplasmine deficiency. Ceruloplasmin is an enzyme which is, used, which is used by the body in metabolism of copper. Daily intake of copper is about 2 to 4 gram. 2 to 4 gram copper intake is sorry 2 to 4 milligram is the intake of copper per day and this copper is metabolized by ceruloplasmin. Now when there is deficiency of ceruloplasmin this copper gets accumulated in liver as a result of which hepatitis is produced, chronic liver disease is produced, it accumulates in eyes as a result of which Kesa Flischner's ring is devel it develops and as a result of which Sunflower catrate develop in eyes. When it deposits in brain, it causes neurological manifestations. Now, whenever there is deficiency of ceruloplasmin and patient is presenting with Wilson's disease, it should be diagnosed earliest possible so as to prevent the complications of the Wilson's disease. Now, usually these patients of Wilson's disease, they present below the age of 40 years, sometimes in pediatric age group presentation is variable. Sometimes patient present with fulminant hepatic failure as a clinical manifestation and once the patient presents with fulminant hepatic failure and it is diagnosed as a case of Wilson's disease, the immediate step to be taken is hepatic transplantation. In these cases, SGPT, SGOT, all enzymes are elevated. Serum bilirubin is elevated great, greater than 20 mg per dl, direct fraction. So these patients should be immediately treated with hepatic transplantation for full recovery. Patient, if it is presenting with acute hepatitis and if not diagnosed earliest, then it may go to chronic hepatitis and cirrhosis. And presentation of cirrhosis will be in the same way as other types of cirrhosis. So patient will present with portal hypertension, patient will present with shrunken liver, patient will present with ascites and patient may present with any type of chronic manifestation of cirrhosis. So you will have to, if cirrhosis is there, then you will have to manage it as a case of cirrhosis plus as a case of Wilson's disease, both. If patient is presenting with neurological manifestation, sometimes because of the, because of the position of copper in brain, brain patient will present with neurological manifestations now the copper in brain deposits in globus pallidus it may deposit in caudate lobe it may deposit in thalamus presentation is again varied patient may present with parkinson's features that is rest tremor and rigidity patient may present with ataxia in coordination of movements patient may present with micrographia that is writing is decreased so it's small so patient may present with different uh, abnormal movements like dystonias. Patient may present with wing beating tremors. So these are the featured neurological features. Sometimes patient present with psychiatric manifestations may be present in the case of this uh, Wilson's disease. In psychiatric manifestations, there is gradual decline in the school performance of the child if it is present in the children and gradual deterioration in the higher functions of patient of the later age group. You, if patient in the in the patient there is deposition of copper in eyes, you can demonstrate case of Lichner's ring with the help of slit lamp examination. You can demonstrate sunflower cataract by the slit lamp examination. Though in the sunflower cataract, this is a multicolored cataract in which vision is not affected. Now, if a patient is presenting with Wilson disease and if you want to diagnose it, then in that case, you will have to go for serum ceruloplasmine level. Serum ceruloplasmine level is low in cases of Wilson's disease. In 20% cases, it may be normal. Usually in chronic cases, ceruloplasmine goes down or it is, it, it is normal. In diagnostic tests, second test is examination of urine for copper content. 24-hour sample of urine is collected and in that, in that 
copper is estimated so like this you will have to estimate urinary level of copper so by these two tests you can diagnose wilson's disease if patient is presenting with liver disease then in that case copper content in liver biopsy changes in histopathological changes in liver biopsy they are diagnostic so liver biopsy should be done in cases of wilson's disease so once you have diagnosed it as a case of wilson's disease treatment should be started earliest in the treatment the treatment is copper chelating agent penicillamine penicillamine is started in dose of 400 to 1500 milligrams per day in divided doses in first in four divided doses and then gradually a maintenance doses of twice a day is given treatment has to be continued for the whole life so without that treatment patient patient survival will decrease apart from penicillamine you can use tritine tritine is again an agent which chelates copper so you can use tritine again in the same dose of 1200 to 1500 milligrams per day in divided doses usually in adults but in children both penicillamine and tritine should be given in the dose of 20 to 40 milligram per kilogram of body weight so this treatment has to be continued throughout the life unusual presentations of wilson's disease in unusual presentations sometimes patient may develop osteomalacia patient may develop osteoarthritis patient may develop pathological fractures this is the unusual presentation of wilson's disease unusual features are present sometimes in wilson's disease so these are all features of wilson's disease and clinical management of wilson's disease once you will have you have diagnosed a case as wilson's disease and you have started treatment then patient is going to ask about prognosis so in prognosis you will have to tell patient that usually in acute cases liver transplantation transplantation is necessary and rest of the prognosis depends on liver transplantation whenever it is diagnosed earliest and liver is not damaged copper has not accumulated in brain then in those cases prognosis is good life is life of patient is good patient will survive but treatment will have to be continued for the whole life if treatment is not started then in that cases patient will develop chronic liver disease patient will develop neurological manifestations and life is crippled so you will advise patient the earlier if earliest diagnosis is made then in that you will advise patient to take treatment for the throughout the life to keep his life normal lifespan normal so this is all about wilson's disease thank you